Hey everybody, so this is a quick demonstration on how to use the triathlon mode. Uh, so the idea behind triathlon mode is that you can actually set this up to do a triathlon or race where you would set up the, uh, the swim times or the start times for each rider. So the idea is, it's, let's say yesterday they went ahead and they got their swim in, and um, once, they, once you have your swim time or your start time, you would start the timer up and then the rider wouldn't actually start riding until they hit their swim time and then that would actually make up the whole triathlon and then after that they can hop off the bike and go for the run so how to go about doing that is that uh, you always have to ride with a course and so we'll go ahead and load up a course and in this case let's just load up the CompuTrainer time trial course so we'll pick that one we'll use that and then it's asking me, do I want to use a workout as well? Well, this is a race, so we're just going to say no. And then for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to throw these all these trainers in the demo mode so that you know I don't have to actually ride each one and show you. So now that we have a course loaded, if we go to the menu, we can see we've got a race mode now. And within race mode, there's triathlon mode. So if we enable that, what we have now is we get a pop-up and here we can actually enter in our, our swim or our start times. So with this, it's not just the riders that are displayed, even though it's showing that right now, plus one more. It's if you had, let's say, 30 riders doing the race, you can set this all up at once. And whether the, the riders are on the trainers or not, um, as they get selected, um, their start times will be enabled. So as long as it's in triathlon mode, if you select a rider and they're in this um, startup time, uh, list, uh, their their new startup time will be shown once they're selected. So in this case here, we've got all we've got five riders, and you can see that the times are set real low, except this last one, just for demonstration purposes. So 25, 25, 30, 45 seconds. So uh, let's just go ahead and save that, and you can see now their start times are enabled. So for this rider, their their start time or their swim time was 20 seconds, so they actually won't be able to get going until the timer hits 20 seconds and then so on with these guys 25 30 and 45 so once we move these guys over get them realigned here let's go ahead and hit start okay so now the the timer is rolling along and the um, but the trainers haven't started yet so you can see their speeds are going so so for this demonstration they're actually riding but the distance hasn't actually changed so and you can see up in the profile they haven't moved yet either. But you can see now they're saying get ready to go with a 10 second countdown and then bang they can actually start riding and now you can see their distances are moving and that kind of thing. So um, this is a pretty quick indicator to let them know to get ready to ride. And then you see and then for the last guy here it, it, with 10, his start time is 45 so at 35 seconds you can see he's starting to roll down. So. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice way to, to let them know when to get going. The trainer isn't enabled, so they can't mess up distances or, you know, and skew their, their workout or, you know, cheat. <laughs> but, um, but when you see, what we'll do is at the timer, we'll stop it at one minute. And when we do that, here we go and stop. So race is over with. And, you know, in most cases, their, um, their, their finish time is actually going to get hit when they hit the end of the course here. But for this case, we're just going to stop the timer. So you can see here, if we look at the finish times, his start time was 20 seconds. So his finish time, because we started at, stopped at a minute, would be 40 seconds. And say in throughout. So their, their performance files are based off of when they actually started and not the entire ride. So um, if you're doing, if you're kind of trying to get a, a 2 4 in and then doing where you're doing a race and an FTP test, You've got a completely accurate ride for recording, and so if you went and if you you know if you analyze this in the, in the Perf Pro Analyzer, you'd see that the, that this person's time was was 40 seconds, and then there was no dead space uh, before or after, and so everything's really accurate. So it's a really nice way to make sure that their rides, their their performance data is accurate, but then also um, for from a race standpoint, you can see well, okay, that was. That was the stop time on the clock. However, you can see the finish time was 40 seconds. You can add that to your, to your start time as you're recording. So if the person standing there with the with the clipboard is recording this this data, 
um, then it's going to be an accurate uh, data, you know, and then obviously you'll want to uh, record transition and then what the runtime was. But that's, um, that's the idea behind triathlon mode. Um, I think it's a great way to, to make sure performance is accurate and allow these guys to have a good time. All right, so that's all I have for now, and talk to you later.